Hey everybody, welcome in the new episode of the Online Coaches Clinic. Today the topic will be better shooting, but let's make a great start, because for a great training we need always something special warm-up. So now please watch the one minute motivation video, what I prepared for you, and after we are going back to the details about better shooting. If I remember from my childhood, first thing is that with my friends we played basketball on the court beside my elementary school all the day. Even in that time I learned that if in basketball you want to have a chance and to succeed, you need to invest a lot of time in basketball and you need to be a five-star manager with your time. This was my first step to build professional thinking and approaching. For me success if you can work what you love most in your life until end of your life without stop. This was always my dream from the first touch with the basketball. Invest a lot of time, belong with all your soul body to basketball, work hard and live your dream. If you are investing so much love and effort, then must to be results too. After the motivation video, let's watch another video which will be only 30 seconds. And after this video, maybe you will think that how you are walking many times to the training, maybe it is equal with coaching. Depending on where you are at the moment in basketball, you need to have a vision of what you want to achieve. First, you need to climb a huge mountain. You will have sometimes stability and you are passing straight, but also you need to prepare for downhills too. But for dreams, you need to sacrifice. Grab your chance and work hard. After the great start, now I prepared for you the next interesting video. On this video you can see one of my senior players and I asked from him to make some mistakes and I cut the video like this that I will stop in that moment when I detected the problem and I will write in details what we should need to correct at our players. Everything what you will see that you not need just to correct at senior level, you need to correct the youth categories too. The head coach should need to be an expert that have expert eye for it to detect the problem and to fix and correct. If the head coach is not able to detect the problem and not fixing the problem, then should need to be in the club one technical director or supervisor who have for that expert eye because that is very important because if our players learning some bad habits later very hard to fix it and uh, to correct it. I know that today uh, coach is not like so much critic but today we need to open for critic and one technical director, one supervisor doing our job he detects the problem, he is saying for us and he is helping uh, to improve our players. And when we have better players, we will have later better results uh, too. After this, in this video, when you saw the mistakes, I will showing for you something that uh, what you can do with your players, for example, to push, to put a bigger demand what you have on the match. When I'm doing that kind of things in clubs where I'm working, coaches for me usually are saying, okay, Hunor, but uh, why you are doing some kind of demand what is even harder than on the match and on the match is not existing? The answer is simple, because if they will be able to score after that kind of demand, they will be more successful, more efficient on the match. And you know, uh, when uh, we are going for a match, many times I'm saying for you, man, in this week you are shooting great. You remember for that drill, you know that you can score from after that demand. When? Today? It will be a piece of cake to shoot today, I don't know, five three-pointers or even more. So this is very important to do uh, on our some of our trainings, something bigger demand uh, what waiting our player on the match. This is the same for intensity. Uh, we need to do that kind of trainings, team trainings, uh, that the intensity of the training is, on, is equal with the intensity of the match or even higher. Even after this, we will have less injury. Why? Because always when we are going on a match, we have some bigger demons, you know, uh, pressure on our body, muscle, ligaments. If we use for it, that we have beside matches that kind of trainings 
that the intensity is higher than on the match. That will help for us that we will have later less injury too. What is very important today is basketball because today basketball maybe that win is winning that that team is winning more that uh, which recovery faster. That is very important too. Not just to train them on higher intensity, we need to plan uh, about their recovery too. Because if players not have enough uh, break, uh, you know, then we have a bigger chance that they will be injured later. Uh, I will not talk in the whole clinic about some usual things, you know, that the uh, ball can be on the whole palm, it should need to be a small hole, the elbow needs to be bottom of the ball, how standing the feet. But for example, uh, you need to open for new things. Uh, this happened with me, for example, I think before 10 years, or I don't know when, was in Serbia, we had a coaching clinic and there was the shooting coach from the Golden State Warriors. And I think that we coaches should need to learn always from the best and from experts, especially from that field. I think uh, that today a head coach should need to be a manager, that we are collecting knowledge from experts, from scientists. And when we have experts in our staff, for example, like a shooting coach, we should need to use their knowledge. But to use their knowledge, which knowledge I think is bigger than our, because uh, they are expert uh, in that field. Uh, I can use his knowledge just if I have some knowledge from his uh, field. It's very important. And my job is that, that how I will implement his bigger knowledge about that field, about that area in the year they plan. Because if we will have uh, better players, then we will have better results too. Many times I see that head coaches uh, using their stuff like you are an expert on this field do what you want we need to control we need to breathe together we need to plan uh, those people has has great knowledge there are experts but they are not head coaches they not know how they will implement that that we have time for everything to prepare especially if we are senior coaches Maybe we are uh, fighting every second or every third week that uh, to keep our job. And, and we know for what we have time and what is the most important. And what is the most important that we are trying to uh, push. And for example, in this clinic uh, happened that this shooting coach talked about Chris Mullin. You remember for Chris Mullin, for example, that he was not the best shooter uh, on his position. And he talked about, I think, that he, he improved his shot around with 20% more, I think for the shoot from five meter, from the high post, for example. And, uh, and um, he said the next thing about, I never read it nowhere, that uh, with Chris Mullin was the next problem, that uh, his hips uh, were not on the same height. So for example, like this. And he said that if he is putting, if, if he's putting the shooter leg a few centimeters forward than the other, what is properly, his hips are still not on the same height, on the same level, you know. But if he is making a longer step forward, what is not usual for the shot, his hips are on the same line. And immediately he had better shooting. And then after this clinic, I turn my eyes up a little, you know, how we can say that, okay, we are learning some usual things, but, 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 but our uh, characteristic of body is not the same. And, and I know many times that uh, I have some players, uh, first, it is not natural so much for the human body that the elbow is exactly bottom of the ball. And, and, and from my experience after 19 years coaching, I know that some players is that going a little faster and for some players it's going very slow so we need to open for new things and to learn maybe you get some idea and that you are using in your training so i'm trying that everything what i prepared for you maybe you will see something new too and after this video we are talking
Now on the next videos you can follow the higher demands what I mentioned you before. For example, quick draw shot, high bounce shot, skip step shot. And after some videos you can see that my players will finish after some kind of uh, jump. You know that they are jumping up, down, they are rotating in the air. So these are really some higher demands. Maybe first time that will be a little strange for them, but my experience that after a few times you are repeating and they will be successful. We pass this part and coming the next part. So now I would love to talk with you about shooting to go in many details. And I'm always trying uh, when you can follow my clinics or if I'm guest on podcast or I'm guest on online coaches clinic on some other place or live that to be interesting too. So until I will talk with you about shooting about many details. Uh, meantime, you can watch great point guards, how they are finishing, how they are reacting, how they are playing great defense, and I think will be for you more interesting. So, let's start. At shooting, we need to give proper information to teach right technique and good execution. And feed technique is very important. This is basic. Uh, many times I see that coaches are not focusing for feed technique, only just looking for the hands. But the feed position is basic. It is very important. If it is the feed position is bad, the body and the hip will rotate and that will make for us a problem. And we need to look how are the feet before the shooting and after the shooting too. After, very important, number of repetition and intensity because basketball is a high intensity game at the beginning we need to do easy simple moves then to make repetition and after the high intensity an individual shooting practice should need to be more difficult than any kind of practice in basketball if you are doing on the right way we are looking shooting form shooting technique conditioning important to be in good shape and psychological stability because confidence is very important. Shooting is very sensible and you need to know that a good shooter will become with mistakes. This you not need to forget. And self-confidence is very important here and need to analyze it. Besides psychological stability, if we are not looking just shooting, we need to make fighters from our players. So they need to believe in themselves and they need to have trust in us. That is very important. When I was a young kid, uh, I enjoyed to watch historic films and it was amazed me, let's say for example, that uh, Spartans uh, won the battle with few hundred soldiers. And after that I enjoyed uh, the film with Mel Gibson, like uh, what did the Scottish people and what said William Wallace uh, before the battle that I would love to share with you. He said the next, 
uh, you will fight and you may die, run and you will live, at least for a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance, to come back here and to tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom? If your players will be like thinking like it's a battle, not just a game basketball, you will have different quality of players and you will make different results too. Because good results not makes good players. But if you are making good players, you will have good results too. At shooting we need to have a shooting line, so ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow should need to be in same line. And we coaches during our trainings, we need to watch our players from different angles because then we can see uh, where is making a mistake our player and maybe from a different angle we can see better where is the knee, where is the ankle, where are the hands, etc. Between arm and forearm need to be 90 degrees. Moment of release when elbow arrive of the level of the eye. We mentioned before that feet are very important, feet need to look to the hoop. If we are talking about the free throw shooting, then it's very important this should need to be shooting from one movement and not to happen that uh, catching the ball, pulling up, uh, then you are stopping with the ball above your head or at the height of your head and then the shooting out. This is very important and this you need to teach your players. Every time our players without the ball need to be ready, if you, they will receive the ball, they will be in triple threat position, uh, the ball will be at the pocket position and they are able to shoot. This is very important because anyway they will lifting down and up and they will have more movement what they need at the shooting. When you are catching the ball, your hands can be on both sides of the ball. Uh, this can be a problem because when you are pulling up the ball, your hand maybe will be not exactly uh, bottom of the ball, maybe your uh, elbow will be not bottom of the ball, this can be a problem. And if you are receiving the ball in the middle, uh, you can't shoot and you can't go for dribble. Uh, and that is very important detail that uh, try to receive the ball on that side, what kind of shooting hand you have. Because you can shoot immediately the ball and you can go for a drive. Especially at the help side, the player should need to be in triple treat position, jump to the ball and immediately up. For me today, head coaching job is like a manager job. What I mean, we have in our staff, assistant coach, strength and condition coach, uh, uh, individual coach, skill coach, shooting coach, and we need to use their knowledge. And of course, we need to realize that basketball is so complex that we can't have uh, in every field a high level uh, knowledge but we need to study and we need to have knowledge from all the part of basketball because then we can be a good manager to use our professional uh, coaches from our staff on the right way so for me if somebody is a shooting coach and he is doing it on full time for me that person should need to know more than any head coaches about shooting and this is important this is important that we need to be flexible and uh, we need to use our stuff and uh, I think that is like that uh, the head coach knows everything better I think that is the past maybe it was before 20 years ago 10 years ago 15 years ago I will uh, say it uh, openly uh, when I was a younger coach I was feeling that mode and that style but for me it's like head coaching job is like to be a good uh, manager hand is uh, soft or or it is you know like it is hard closed because uh, there is only one uh, part in basketball when we need uh, to hold the ball very soft when we are shooting so after the shoot after the release and the execution uh, we should need to hold our hand few seconds but our hand and our fingers need to be uh, soft uh, fingers can't look forward fingers just are going down to have a proper rotation 
So that is very important. Many times I see that players in youth categories and senior category, or they are moving very fast their hand, or the hand is going the, to the right side or left side, or they are just not closing softly, they are closing their hand. Our players need to have trust in us. That is why we need to develop them and uh, to find a way how they will feeling that they are shooting better on the trainings and on the matches too. Because maybe we are doing, uh, we are working on the best way and we are doing great things. But if they will not scoring on the training and on the matches more, maybe they will not believe and maybe not, not will uh, trust in us because uh, to develop shooting is uh, it is uh, not, not so not so fast uh, procedure so it uh, it will going little slower and uh, this need time and that is why we should need to teach properly from the first training from under 8 under 10 because uh, the proper way of the shooting because it is very hard to fix it uh, later and when uh, one young player used for it to shoot with a bad technique, maybe he is shooting with a not bad percentage. And when we are starting uh, to fix it and to analyze it, to shoot it properly, maybe at the beginning he will shoot more worse. And maybe he will say like, I not want this new technique. How I learned it is good and I'm satisfied with that. That is why we should need to, met, uh, to know the methods and with which steps we will try to develop our players. First, we should need to make shooting uh, very close to the hoop after in distance uh, from the place, after from movement, going out from a screen, after dribble, after changing direction with the ball. And good shooters are not those uh, players who knows to shoot from the place. The great shooters are those players who can score from the distance after changing the direction with the ball. About this we need to push. And there is uh, one very important thing. If we want to develop our players and to have a more percentage on our games, we need to prepare our individual shooting practice or if we have shooting on team practice, that the, that the practice, the drill, is on the same demand like on the match on the same intensity and even to make it higher even to make it higher because if they are able to make it something on a higher demand than on the match on the match they will be easy score for sure and players uh, should need to work a lot on themselves a uh, famous serbian coach bozidar majkovic said about alexander djordjevic that on his evaluation like a player he became before a coach and then a great player because we need to share our knowledge with our players and i am the most happiest person if i see that my players are learning from my knowledge because these players they will go on the court alone they will shoot and like a coach they need to fix and to analyze how they are shooting, is it good or no? Science is saying that you need to shoot at least 10,000 times with good technique during your career to learn the proper shot, that your body is used for it, for this automatic movement, how you will shoot. And this is 10,000 times, but with good technique. So, if you think that is enough that your players are shooting on the team training, you are wrong. You need to work with them on individual training. They will need to work uh, alone on themselves. Uh, Dražen Petrovic, uh, when played in Real Madrid, he arrived uh, in Athens to play against uh, Olympiakos in the Euroleague game. And his first question was at the reception at the hotel, like, where is the fitness gym where I can work on myself? So players must to shoot a lot every day, every day, alone and with the coach too. My experience that if they are working with me, they, that will be much better when they are alone. But we can't be with every player. And uh, for me is a difference too, 
if it is there just the assistant coach or if the head coach is there too. Players will push more if the head coach is on that individual training. Uh, that is why when I am working in a club, I am always trying uh, to be a good manager with my time. That uh, if I'm coaching one team, and if there is the individual training, that individual training I am holding. If I am the head coach of that player, I think that is for very important, and that is my experience. Everything can be solved if you are a good manager with your time, and if uh, there are enough slots uh, in that indoor court where you are training your players. Thank you very much for your time. This is the end. I know that you are used for it, that I'm showing a lot of drills in every seminar, in every online coaches clinic. But this will be another topic when I will showing for you a lot of drills, a complete shooting training, what you can do and to get ideas when you are in the preparation period or competition period. So I hope that you love the knowledge and experience what I shared with you. And I am waiting for you for the next online coaches clinic. All the best for every coach, all the world, and see you next time. Bye-bye.